Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn have reportedly ended their relationship after six years of dating. The couple had been spotted together for the first time in 2016 and kept their relationship largely private. Swift had alluded to their romance in her music, including on her 2020 album, Folklord, and its sister album, Evermore. Swift's sixth studio album, Reputation, also referenced her new relationship with Alwyn. The couple had worked hard to keep their romance private, and Swift taking great care to avoid being seen with Alwyn in public. Despite this, they had been spotted at a number of events together and supported each other in their careers. So, Taylor Swift dropped her latest album, Midnights, in 2022. And as usual, it's packed with lovey-dovey tracks about her beau, Joe Alwyn. Seriously, how cute are these two? You've got to check out Sweet Nothing. It's all about domestic bliss and the joys of being in a loving relationship. But hold up, things aren't always sunshine and rainbows in any relationship, right? That's where the Great War comes in. And let me tell you, the title alone is enough to give you the shivers. Cosmopolitan has suggested that the song could be about one of their big arguments. The lyrics are pretty intense too, with lines like, soldier down on that icy ground, and that was the night I nearly lost you. Yikes. But hey, looks like love conquers all, because Taylor claims that her and Joe made up and stayed together. But here's the plot twist. Just six months after the album dropped, Taylor and Joe called it quits for good. Taylor Swift is famous for weaving her personal life into her music, and her fans are always on the lookout for clues. And boy, did she give them a big one in March 2023. During the first four shows of her Eros tour, Taylor performed Invisible String, a love song that's all about hope and being tied to someone special. But then, on the fifth show, she switched things up and sang The One instead, a track that's more about looking back on a past relationship. We were something, weren't we? Dancing in the roaring 20s? But it could have been you and me? Needless to say, Swifties everywhere took notice and started speculating about what it all meant. Was she sending a message about her relationship with Joe Alwyn? Some fans certainly thought so and took to social media to share their theories. One person even tweeted a hilarious gif from Hercules of the fates cutting a string, which pretty much sums up the situation. You know Taylor Swift always pours her heart into her music, and her song Champagne Problems from the Evermore album is no exception co-written by her then-boyfriend Joe Alwyn under the pseudonym William Bowery. The song tells a tale of a woman with mental health struggles who declines a proposal from her partner during the holiday season. Although Swift initially said it was a fictional piece, it became all too real following the couple's breakup. During the beginning of her era's tour, Swift's rendition of Champagne Problems left some fans feeling emotional, especially when she was seen tearing up while performing the number on the piano in one TikTok video. With the news of Swift and Alwyn split, some fans now believe that the song's lyrics hit closer to home than they initially thought. Lyrics like, your mom's ring in your pocket, my picture in your wallet, your heart was glass, I dropped it, really hit differently now. Oh, the emotional roller coaster of love and heartbreak. Some eagle-eyed fans think they spotted a very subtle tip in the video for Lavender Haze. The theory goes that the shot of Swift dropping a match is a sign that something's about to blow up in her life. And the fact that it happens at the 48 second mark is significant because it was April 8th or 48th when the news of her breakup with Joe Alwyn was confirmed. Oh my god, she gave us an Easter egg for her own breakup date. One fan tweeted, it's pretty impressive if Swift planned that far ahead, since the video was released in January 2023, months before news of the split broke. According to CNN, Swift and Alwyn actually broke up a few weeks prior to the official announcement, so they were likely still together when Lavender Haze was filmed. Taylor Swift and Joe Alwyn's split was apparently on the cards for months before it finally hit the headlines. And honestly, we should have seen the writing on the wall because the couple hadn't been seen in public together for what felt like eons. The last time the pair was spotted out and about was way back in October 2022, when they were browsing for furniture in the Big Apple. And Alwyn was a no-show at the start of Swift's era tour, which set off alarm bells across the fandom. But a source insisted that everything was still rosy between the lovebirds, telling people that Joe will travel with her when he can. They are great together. Joe is super supportive of her career. 
Well, it turns out that the source wasn't quite on the money because just a few days after the news of their split broke, Swift was spotted out on the town with none other than actress Margaret Qualley and longtime collaborator Jack Antonoff. We may never know exactly what went down between Swift and Alwyn, but perhaps we can look forward to some killer breakup bops from the queen of heartbreak anthems. And that's a wrap on this video, folks. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest uploads. And if you have any suggestions for topics you'd like for us to cover, drop them in the comments below. We love hearing from our audience. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.